I want to tell you, Gorsuch. I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. Around 1 o'clock this morning, a cab pulled up to the Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's neighborhood. A man got out with a backpack and a suitcase. According to court documents, he said he was there to kill Justice Kavanaugh, and he was carrying the tools to do it. Early this morning, these are just the reports that we're getting in. And, Sean, we know that the justices, one, there were protests outside of their homes. Uh, we know that they were, those were encouraged. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets. They're not going to let up, and they should not. And we should not. A 66-year-old Illinois man has been identified as the suspect in the shooting of a congressional baseball practice on Wednesday. We found dozens of anti-Trump postings, and we've learned that he took part in attacks the rich protest. Did you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station? You get out and you create a crowd, and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome. Anymore, the White House police escorting Republican Senator Rand Paul, and I believe his wife Kelly's with him there, a crazed mob of more than 100 people, and thanks to the local police department here in D.C., he says, quote, for literally saving our lives. Please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Flooding overnight in Minneapolis as rioters set the city's third precinct police station on fire. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Burning cars and smashed windows. Protesters dressed in black, their faces covered, armed with hammers and bricks. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. And for the second night in a row, the lights were turned off as protests raged nearby. This morning, CNN reporting the White House workers are being told to hide their passes until they reach a Secret Service entry point and then hide them when they leave. More than 60 Secret Service officers and special agents sustained multiple injuries in Washington, D.C. Federal Protective Service officer killed in Oakland shooting during George Floyd protest identified. The uprisings overflowed from Lafayette Park and continued near the White House on Saturday night and early into Sunday morning. NBC News confirms President Trump was briefly rushed to an underground bunker. This on Friday as protesters tried to climb over barriers outside the White House. Today the president's holding a virtual meeting with governors and law enforcement about safety. The incident injured House of Representatives Majority Whip Steve Scalise of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who's comparing U.S. immigrant detention centers to concentration camps. Saturday in Washington state, police killed a man allegedly trying to burn down a detention center. And now the group Seattle Anti-Fascist Knit Action is hailing that Antifa disciple as a martyr. He just got This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. It's been a mostly peaceful protest, but then they chose to move in. Uh, I'm looking at those live pictures next to you, and they seem very peaceful. There's so many good people out there who want change and who are demanding change. Protests from Sunday were relatively calm. We saw a little damage, but most people were very passionate but peaceful. Now, too many see the protests as the problem. No, the problem is what forced your fellow citizens to take to the streets, persistent and poisonous inequities and injustice.